Despite the current pandemic ravaging the market like the Nile crocodile does and unsuspecting Impala, Manchester City are set to have the first 100 million euro transfer of the summer. The reigning Premier League champs are set to fork out this much money for Jack Grealish, whose future at Aston Villa was a subject of a lot of debate in the last few weeks. Pep Guardiola had been eager to add another attacking dimension to his side, and in Grealish, the Spanish tactician will now have a unique attacking talent who is going to succeed at the Etihad. So, before we begin to talk about Grealish moving to City and some other moves that could happen, make sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. City's first stand in the last few weeks of the summer transfer window, Manchester City have come alive. The citizens have already seen a major bid for Tottenham striker Harry Kane turned down, but that hasn't stopped them from preparing another improved bid which is likely to convince Daniel Levy into selling. The Manchester club is in dire need of a recognised striker, and in Kane, they have a player who can make the role his own for years to come. However, even if they do end up signing a striker, Guardiola's men need more attacking impetus. This is why it wasn't surprising to see them linked with Aston Villa captain Jack Grealish, who's been putting in some truly impressive displays for Dean Smith's side in the last two years. This move would also cost the club north of 100 million euros, but if Guardiola believes that this is a move worth making, then we can't really question the Spaniard's insistence, given the fact that he rarely signs a dud. What we know so far you must be thinking what's unfolding at the moment. The Premier League giants are definitely closing in on a 100 million move for the 25-year-old. The move will eclipse the 89 million pounds Manchester United spent on Paul Pogba back in 2016. Unlike Harry Kane, who decided to throw his toys out of the pram and cry for a move, Grealish has decided to act professionally and even reported to training on time while interacting normally with his teammates and coaching staff. However, the England international wasn't seen at the club's training ground on Wednesday after the news transpired that he'd been given permission to travel to Manchester ahead of a switch to the Etihad Stadium. It was announced that the move will be announced midweek, but media outlets are claiming that an official announcement is likely to be made by the end of this week. It's been said that Grealish has already had his medical and is set to sign a five-year deal that will see him earn more than £200,000 per week. What Aston Villa fans will find heartwarming is that Grealish has conducted himself like a gentleman and spoke first to the sporting director of his club Johan Lange, CEO Christian Perslow and chairman Nassif Sawiris about his desire to take the next step in his career. Grealish informed them of his desire to compete for major honours and the club's senior management showed a lot of understanding and decided not to stand in his way. Normally, clubs try to force their best players into staying even when they don't want to, but the Villa hierarchy knows that the club owes Grealish far too much to force him to stay. Of course, they would have wanted the forward to sign a new deal, but when it became clear that he wanted to leave, they gave him their blessing. Why move to City? After winning the Premier League and reaching the final of the Champions League last season, Manchester City are only getting started and will be a force to be reckoned with for many more years. Villa were fighting relegation a couple of years back and then had a strong finish to the previous campaign. However, the Midlands giants are not likely to be competing for major honours next season, and at the age of 25, Jack Grealish knows that he can't make the same mistake that Harry Kane made when he decided to sign a long-term deal with Tottenham. At that time, Spurs were onto something, but we all know what happened in the end. While Villa have also shown a lot of ambition in the transfer market by making moves for Emi Buendia, Leon Bailey and Danny Ings, the villains are unlikely to be mounting a sustained title challenge. Grealish can't afford to wait around for something that may or may not happen. At City, he's got a better chance of winning silverware on a more regular basis while being surrounded by some of the best players on the planet. The Champions League is a competition the best players want to feature in, and Grealish is definitely in that category. So, what are the reasons that led to Man City making a move for Grealish? Ball Carrier If you watched a bit of Villa last season, one of the most visible traits of the team was Grealish carrying the ball into an attacking position. The Englishman has great close control and loves to make driving runs into enemy territory. He made 306 progressive carries and 80 carries into the penalty area. 
This ability to pry defences open and then involving another attacking teammate to create a goal-scoring opportunity is rare to find, not just in England, but anywhere on the planet. Guardiola likes players with unique traits, and we're sure that he can't resist Grealish's ability to carry the ball so confidently. According to Opta, Grealish has gone for goal or provided an opportunity for a teammate 137 times since the start of the 2019 Premier League campaign. He has a combined total of 30 Premier League goals and 9 assists in the last two seasons, and nearly half of those have come after he's carried the ball in the manner he does best. A unique attacking threat of course, he will always be a threat when the ball is at his feet, but Grealish is also quite a menace from open play. He's been heavily involved in a whopping 376 moves in these scenarios in the last two seasons. Last season, he averaged 6.8 attacking contributions every 90 minutes, even though he was struggling from injury February onwards. Grealish is a chief protagonist for Villa and takes it upon himself to help his team stay the course. At City, he might not have to carry the entire burden on his shoulders, but he could shine brighter than ever while being surrounded by some truly gifted performers. Ankles and calves that attract wayward tackles Naturally, when you tend to spend a lot of time with the ball at your feet, you're bound to get snapped at by opponents. Grealish and his calves get a beating every weekend. He's been fouled 277 times in the Premier League in the last two years. 43 of those fouls have been deemed punishable offences. Having quick feet and the ability to manoeuvre the ball around is something that frustrates opponents, and Grealish's ability to draw fouls will provide more chances to whip in those delicious kicks that can be so menacing. Versatility Although he's at his devastating best when starting on the left side, Grealish might have to pay his dues before he's given the luxury of choosing his best role. He might not be an automatic starter at City, but if he does get starts, he'll likely play down the left side of central midfield. Guardiola does like to make positional changes, but Grealish is going to do much better if he's allowed to play wide on the left. This is the position where he's at his best but he'll have to compete with Phil Foden for that role, with the youngster already making it his own at the expense of Raheem Sterling. Grealish's arrival will create a lot of headaches for the manager, but then again, if you have this much depth on the bench, you can only be happy with your life. What will Aston Villa do now? Losing a good player can be a huge problem for any team. The same can be said of Aston Villa, who had come to rely on Grealish so much in the last three seasons. The four would help them return to the Premier League and then help them avoid the drop. However, a player can only be as good as a club he plays for. Aston Villa did well to sign Emi Buendia and Leon Bailey. The two men will be influential for the club next season, and their signings might have been the owners telling Grealish that he might want to stick around for what's being built. Ollie Watkins has done well, but the young striker should not be expected to score every week. Therefore, the club signed Danny Ings from Southampton. The former Liverpool man loves to score goals and will add another dimension to the team's attack. And now that Grealish is all but gone, Villa are expected to make a move for Norwich City's young playmaker, Todd Cantwell, who is also a similar player to Grealish. He loves to be in the thick of things, loves drifting in dangerous areas, and is adept at carrying the ball, just like the soon-to-be former Aston Villa man. Of course, the club's fans will miss Grealish, and we don't expect them to boo him once he returns to Villa Park. Grealish gave the club everything and deserves a big move in his career. Perhaps his move is exactly what is needed to take the club to greater heights. For 100 million euros, you can buy a lot of good players if your scouting department is doing all the right things.